So they say, third time's a charm. Good morning, I'm Bonnie from Wild Coffee Homestead. I just thought I'd let you in on our journey as being new to keeping chickens. It's been three months now. It's been kind of hard. We thought we knew what we were doing. I did research for years. We had no clue. What we did find was what works for one homestead or one home doesn't always work for, for your own home. Uh, we were inspired by Justin Rhodes to uh, get a guard goose. And so we did, we got Tilly and she's awesome. I'm in love with that goose. But what, what we found is because we live under a canopy of oaks and pines and palm trees, she can't do her job here. Those hawks are sitting right right on top of uh, the coop and she doesn't even know it. Um, what Justin has is a wide open field and what he found is that when he got closer to the woods, that's when he had predator attacks. So right off the bat, as we saw our neighbor's chickens free range being carried away by hawks, Tilly wasn't gonna be able to handle this job. She can still alarm the chickens the predators but it just wasn't going to work. Our first intentions was to have this amazing chicken coop which is doing tremendous that Kevin built and just have a pure uh, Premier One electric fence surrounding it and they could just free range and we would move it every couple days but once we realized that the hawk pressure was too strong uh, we went ahead and bought a kind of like a canopy that you would put a, your car under and um, screened it in with bird netting, and that, that did quite well. Kevin actually made that mobile, which worked, but the only problem is our, our ground is so uneven, um, we would actually hook it up to a, uh, pull it by uh, the Gigi's tractor, the golf cart, with a rope, but it just scraped the ground, it was really hard. And we had one episode, I think it was the second to last time we moved it, that Kevin and I were pulling, pulling with this rope, and he pulled before I did, and it jerked me. Well, I was at the chiropractor three times after that, trying to get the neck back in position. So anyway, we thought there's no way we can do this uh, twice a week. So that was plan B, the netted canopy. Well, we found even though it seems like we're covered, the sun would come through. And in Florida, zone 9B, when it's 94 degrees, that sun was just brutal. The chickens were panting and just, just miserable. So it came with a, a canopy at the top. So we put that on. Unfortunately, we cut a little piece out of it because we made a shelter uh, for them to, to eat under and whatnot. So. But that's okay. It's, right now, it's serving its purpose fine and dandy. Good news, we have not had any, had any predator attacks, but we are on to plan C, A, B, C. Before we go on to plan C, I thought I'd let you see Tilly. Tilly's almost 13 weeks old now, and she is a sweet girl. She is so sweet. But she loves to chew on the chicken's tails. Since they were, what, four weeks old? Whenever they start getting their tail feathers, she just chews on them. She goes on a rampage, and the only ones that don't get chewed are the Buff Orpingtons, the Goldies. I don't know if she thinks they're related. Oh, you like that diamond, huh? The diamond is a girl's best friend. Huh? Don't chew on my diamond. But I just wanted to share with you, not only have we had challenges in um, housing, for the girls, but also health. Um, I did have all the chicks vaccinated for 
um, coccidiosis. Um, that is something that is it's a parasite that's in all dirt and until they're about 16 weeks or so their bodies have trouble fighting it so I thought you know what first time chicken owner I'm gonna get them vaccinated a lot of people don't um, but at about four weeks they got it um, I started seeing blood in their poo and that's a sign of coccidiosis and it can kill them within days and fortunately uh, I did, did, we didn't lose any we still have 19 and we're thankful for that but unfortunately when we did the kind of a permanent spot for now here we added wood chips and dirt from another home uh, tree service delivered it and there's nine different strains of coccidiosis so I believe they were um, exposed to another strain and they started uh, started seeing blood in the poo again so I treated them I don't think we're there yet uh, today when I was cleaning out the coop I saw some not terribly bloody but suspicious so we're still working on that so it's been a challenge other than that they're doing amazing they're growing like crazy um, getting a little bit sassy some of the uh, leaders of the uh, flock so now we'll go over and see um, our plan C you know I have a saint for a husband that has rolled with the punches through all these challenges just when we think we get one thing down another challenge arises but I do believe that someday we will be settled not that we'll have figured it all out but I think we'll feel stable Behind me here looks like a construction site. We are going to still use our amazing Ramblin' Roost chicken coop, the mobile chicken coop, because our thoughts are, living in Florida, if we have a hurricane come or tropical storm come, it'd be awesome to hook that up to the uh, lawnmower or golf cart and take it into one of our barns where the chickens would be much safer. So, and it's working amazing. Kevin did such a good job on that. So we are gonna continue using Ramblin' Roost, but we are going to construct, I say we, Kevin, my darling husband, is going to construct a permanent run. Um, we're, we purchased one of the uh, metal roofed carports. It's 29 foot long by 12 foot wide. So that will extend out from the coop. And Tilly loves, she's a water bird, waterfowl. She loves her water. We have a little cement mixing tub right now that she just loves. She spends a lot of her day in there. And she cleans herself, and that's how she stays cool. So we've purchased one of those pre-made ponds that will bury on an outside, um, outside of the covered coop. Kevin made an extension that will be covered in uh, 16 gauge, one half inch um, hardware cloth so it's predator proof. And he's going to put the predator apron all the way around it so nothing can dig to get under it. We'll still lock the girls up at night time. We have an automatic um, chicken door that goes down at dusk and I go check uh, to see if they're all in. Usually everybody's in except for Tilly. We did have one night that all of them but well one were out I don't know what happened so I had to pick them up one by one and, and uh, get them in the coop that was the craziest thing it hasn't happened since then I don't know what happened anyway so I'm super excited and can't wait to show you guys this Thursday is when the carport comes and it's gonna take a lot of uh, a lot of work to transform that into a safe uh, predator resistant chicken run but it's gonna be pretty spectacular they're gonna have probably four times as much room as they do now So, just wanted to bring you guys along on the ride um, haven't seen you much been working really hard these chickens I never dreamed um, it would be so much work I love every second of it don't get me wrong but it is required a lot um, the gardens doing fabulous the okra, I'm getting probably two dozen at least okra off these um, plants every day. Thank goodness we love gumbo and I've been pickling. But they're huge. They've got to be nine, ten feet tall. I 
have to use a ladder now to harvest. And I have a beautiful uh, butterfly pea vine that's growing in the garden. It just it has these gorgeous uh, blue flowers, just so pretty. So we are blessed. Um, we love eating out of the garden. Thanks for coming along on this journey. I just thought I'd let you guys know what it's like, been like to be a first time chicken mom and dad. I'm so thankful for Kevin's patience because when I give him a problem, he quickly responds with a solution. So thankful for him. I'm a very blessed woman. So until we see you next time, I'll be showing you our new run and Tilly's Flock's new home. I think they will be very happy there. Bless you guys. If you haven't already subscribed, hit the subscribe button. Bye.